The City of Stafford website has a message about safe Halloween practices this year, and we visited with its author, local health authority, Dr. Joe Anzeldwa. I think in, in the first place, uh, leaving out a bowl, I, I think, should be discouraged because the, the kiddos will, you know, stick their, their hands in the, in the candy and move around, and that's what we're trying to avoid. We're trying to minimize hand contact from strangers. And so the best thing is to not put a bowl out there where other people are just sticking their hands in there and grabbing stuff. Um, so there's, there's better ways to approach that than to just put, put out candy. I think, it, if at all possible, parents need to try to keep these groups small. After, after four or five kids, it's kind of hard to, to corral and manage eager children wanting to go to the houses and collect as much candy as they can. Sometimes it becomes competition. I know that we did that when I was, you know, when I was growing up, we wanted to see who, who could collect the most candy. So we knew that the more houses we hit, the better our chances were to, to grab a lot of candy. The problem with that is that it tends to be very chaotic where groups are running into each other. So the best thing to do is to separate the groups, let the group before you pass onto the next house before you move your group in. And again, try to keep the group small. Parents can usually manage four to five kids at a time without a problem. After that, I think it's, it may become un, unmanageable. Uh, the other issue is the uh, people that decide to want to have parties, usually the older kids or young adults or whatever, to make sure that they can do that safely. And you know, when you invite people to parties, I, I would suggest that if if you're sick, don't don't show up at, at at a party. I don't care what your symptoms are. If you're sick, it's better just to stay home. It's safe and best for everybody. I think that the party should be small. We do recommend less than ten people uh, in any party setting. Um, it's like I point out in my article. It's very hard to to practice. Uh, social distancing or even wearing a mask when you're mingling about and, and eating and drinking and laughing and whatever. So it becomes to be a problem. So you want to limit it to small, smaller groups. You want to make sure that the party setting that you have um, is sufficiently big and spacious to accommodate the party. Um, you want to make sure that there's stuff around like hand sanitizers, that your, that your food is covered appropriately, like food bins or even sneeze, sneeze guards or cough guards. Um, and I think if you're hosting a party, help your guests out. Some people forget to bring in their masks, then have some handy for them. Make sure that they have hand sanitizer um, dispensers available, that there's enough hand soap, they know where the restrooms are. You know, you wanna show them that you care and that you wanna make make it a safe and fun party. So I think that's what I was really trying to, to get, is there is a way of doing this if people take the right precautions and do things safely. For Stafford Weekly News, this is Randall Williams.